Okay, thank you and welcome for today's class. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach about the construction, about the construction of a regular hexagon. Now, in the construction of a regular hexagon, we are going to use the construction material. That is the compass, the protractor, and also the ruler, the whiteboard ruler. So I have the three. Uh, I'm going to use the writing material, that is the marker pen, the rest of marker pen. So the question is, construct a regular hexagon, A, B, C, D, E, F, of side 4 cm. Now, a hexagon is a six-sided figure. So, this one is a six-sided figure. A six-sided figure is known as a hexagon. Now, for us to construct a regular hexagon, we need to know are the sum of the interior angles of a regular hexagon. Now, to get the sum of the interior angles of a regular hexagon, it's usually obtained by the formula n minus 2 into bracket 180, where n represents the number of sides of a hexagon. In this case, the number of sides here is a 6. So it is 6 minus 2 into bracket 180. And this one gives you 720. 720 degrees. That is the angle, the interior one of the angles of a regular hexagon. Now, uh, the sum of angles, sorry. Now, to get angle of a regular hexagon, and uh, uh, an angle of a regular hexagon, now, since the summation is giving us 720 degrees, and the number of sides is 6, so you take the summation of the interior angles, then you divide by the number of sides. So each each angle, each interior angle, each interior angle is equal to the summation of all angles. That is 720 divided by the number of sides, which is 6. 720 degrees divided by 6. I'm uh, using the calculator, that one. 720 divided by 6. So the sum, uh, one of the interior angles of the polygon should always uh, should give you 120 degrees. So this one is the one of the angles of the regular hexagon. That is the interior angles should be 120 degrees. It means that each angle of a regular hexagon should always be 120 degrees. So the, to have a sketch of the diagram, So I'm going to have such kind of diagram whereby this side is equal to this side, which is equal to this side, is equal to this one, this one, this one, and should be four centimeters each. Then this angle here, the angle at this particular point, should be giving me 120 degrees. So it means that this angle, the interior angle, should be equal to this angle, which is 120 degrees, should be equal to this angle, 120 degrees. This one is equal to 120 degrees and everything is 120 degrees. So you can see the sketch of the diagram that you are going to draw. Now, first of all, we are going to label the baseline A, B. So this one will be our A, point A, point B, C, D, E, F. And uh, we have that as uh, the sketch of our regular hexagon. Now, let me now draw. The sides, each side of the hexagon should measure four centimeters. So I'm going to use a white bottle and I am going to use the scale to, to draw the hexagon. Now, first of all, I'm going to draw line a uh, baseline AB. So let me just uh, draw my baseline here at this particular place. AB four centimeters. So I'm going to use a scale a scale. Now this is my AB, line AB, AB, which is equal to four centimeters. Now from point B, should be 120 degrees to point C. And again from point A, is equal to 120 degrees to point F. 
my standard point B and measure 180 degrees using my protractor. So the protractor, I place it at point B. Placing the protractor at point B, I measure 180 degrees from point B going in the clockwise direction. So zero, so this is the base. So 120 degrees is this place. So you have the 120 degrees. The point where you have 120 degrees is a particular place. So this is this is the point where when you draw a line from point B and passes through this point, it's going to have an it's going to make point B uh, to be an angle of 120 degrees. And you can see that from the diagram, from the sketch that we have drawn before, from point A, angle A, uh, F, A, B. So when you move from point A to F, this angle should give you 120 degrees. Again, I can stand at point A and measure 120 degrees. Now from the, that is the anti-clockwise direction, 120 degrees. This is one point one hundred twenty degrees. That means that when I join this point to A, this point to A, uh, the angle is one hundred twenty degrees at point A. Then again at point B, join to this point where I have this dot. Is angle at point B is going to be one hundred and twenty degrees. So to draw the straight line, I am going to use my ruler here to draw the straight line passing through this point to point B. So I can extend the line because I need to measure this length to be four centimeters from point B going to point C. So this angle here, this angle is 120 degrees. Again at point A, this angle, this angle here, this angle. So this line, this angle at uh, angle at A, this angle here, is also 120 degrees because it is a regular polygon. So AB should be four centimeter. Now B to C also, uh, it means that should be four centimeter. So I don't need to just uh, place my ruler. I can only use the the compass again to measure length AB because I should be having a regular means that all sides, all sides should be equal to one another. So this one is side AB. So this length here from A to B, again I stand at point A. So standing still at point A, make an arc on the line that came from point A to point F. So that is where I have point F. Again, standing at point B, the same same measurement and make an arc on the upper side. So this is my point C. We have point C at this particular place. So this is point C. I want to locate point D from point C. Point D. At point C, again, measure 120 degrees. So with the use of my protractor, I start at point C. Point C. Then 120 degrees from this line. So 120 degrees is at this particular point. I will, I will just rub this one. So. so this is point 120 degrees. So let me just rub the question now because I already know it on the brain. Then again, I join the point to point C. Then that point to point C. So, so that's the line joining uh, C to another point D. Then by Again, by use of the compass, 
this length BC should be equal to length CD. Because a regular polygon. So I will turn on this particular point and I'll make an arc. Now this is point D. Point D. Uh -huh. Again, I want to measure another point. I want to mark another point that is point E from point D. I stand at point D. Standing at point D, measure 120 degrees, an angle of 100 degrees from lines CD. 100 degrees is this particular. Can see the line. This one is point 120 degrees. So I join that point to point D still. Point D to pass through this point. So this angle here, this one is four centimeter. This one is 20 degrees from the protractor. This one is also four centimeters. This one is 20 degrees again. Then I want to measure four centimeters. So again, pick the compass. Uh -huh. This should be equal to, to just a small adjustment. Then I get standard point D to point E. Like an arc. So that is point E. This is my point E. Now there's no need to measure the angle between uh, the, the angle from point E to point E because now automatically we are going to join this point E uh, to F. Sorry, this one should be F. So when you join point E to F, the angle at E is automatically 180 degrees because these are the last points that are to joined from the regular hexagon. Regular hexagon, so this can just join the last points. So this one is E, this one is 120, 120 degrees. This one is also 120, 120 degrees. So that's how we construct a regular hexagon. So subscribe to my channel and uh, click the hit the notification bell for more updates. Thank you.